Hi, I'm Carly and welcome back to MHN Season 6 and this is school announcements where I'm going to be giving you all the latest news on MHS and fill you in on what you might be missing during the daily announcements every week. Save the date for Friday, May 21st. Student Council will be hosting a drive-in movie at 8.30 p.m. Students will sign up as carloads and each car will cost $5. Sign-ups will be by Google Forms. See Ms. LaBelle with any questions. The next Saga Club meeting will be June 9th. The next International Club meeting will be June 2nd. Both start at 2.15 in Ms. Adams' room or you can contact her for a link to join virtually. Graduation is on June 11th. Each graduate is limited to six guests. Congratulations to the class of 2021. An informational meeting for all students, parents, or guardians of band and chorus will be held via Google Classroom on Thursday, May 27th at 7.30 p.m. for the Disney trip in 2022. The link will be sent out to students currently enrolled in band and chorus through their teachers. If you are not currently enrolled but intend to be in either group next fall, please email Ms. Blanchard to get the link to the meet. This meeting will have a lot of important information and the representative from the trip company will be there to help answer any questions anyone might have. Thanks for watching. Hello students of MHS. I am Henry Bourgeois and this is my special report on the events that seniors will have to be attending for the rest of the year because I want everybody to be informed and have a great ending to their senior year. So today we are lucky enough to have Mr. Kerry Janis to talk to us about some of the senior events towards the end of the year. And um, so obviously this year's graduation is going to look a little different. So I just wanted to ask you um, what exactly it's going to look like. What I can tell you is we're going to have a graduation. It's going to be in person. There'll be a minimum of six guests per student. There will be a, right now a procedure to get people in and out of the field but it could be looser depending on what the state sends us in the next few days. Okay, awesome. And then, so that sounds good. And next, I just wanted to ask about the senior awards, what that's going to look like. Okay, senior awards are going to be on June 9th, um, and they're going to be done as a virtual award ceremony. So uh, this Thursday, faculty members are going to go into the gym, and they're going to record their comments, and then... Uh, we're going to take student pictures and things and, and put them in so we have a coherent ceremony where people can associate who won what award with the picture and everything like that. There are also some other senior events coming up. Uh, you got the Red Sox game on the 25th. I think people are pretty psyched about that. Oh, yeah. The first thing that uh, jumps to my mind is that both the Red Sox and the Braves used to be Boston teams. Wow. Until the Braves moved to Milwaukee and then later on to uh, Atlanta. Of course. There's a car parade on the 4th, I believe it was. Um, Yeah, on the 4th. That should be fun. It was a lot of fun last year. Um, On the 7th, it's drop-off pickup day, we call it. Um, Seniors drop off their books, anything they owe the school, but they also pick up their school records, their caps and gowns. Uh, The parents' organization is going to hold a luncheon for seniors that day, and it's going to be graduation practice that day. So that should be... uh, kind of fun, action-filled yeah. day, kind of getting ready for graduation as well. So that's kind of what we could going on right now. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm sure this is going to be very helpful to a lot of people in the senior class. So thank yeah. you very much for meeting with me. You bet. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot because we have a very exciting end of the year ahead. So thanks for watching. Welcome back to Photo of the Week. I'm Jenny. And I'm Molly. And this week we're going to be looking at some beautiful pictures from our prom last week. The first photo we have is sent in by Samantha Grunstrom. Samantha sent in a picture of her and her friends all dressed up in their stunning outfits. I particularly love the background of this picture. It's so pleasant to look at. I love that photo, Jenny. This next photo we have was submitted by Allie Roach, and it's a photo of her and Bibi sitting at their dinner table looking quite sophisticated. This next photo is definitely a fun one. Sully Salazar sent in this photo of her with her friends, James and Judson, and they look all spiffy in their Hawaiian attire after prom. It looked like they had a great night. The last picture we have is of me and Molly. Of course we had to get a picture at prom, and this was definitely our favorite. We had such a fun night together with our friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love looking at all your prom photos.
Now, back to the studio. and I am here for my special report about the COVID vaccination. I'm with Janet, the school nurse, and I'm going to ask you some questions about COVID. So, in your opinion, how safe has Manor High School been throughout COVID? I think Manor High School has been very safe throughout COVID because the students and the staff and the families have followed all the safety measures and protocols and guidelines that we set up. What yep. do you think Manor High School will look like next year? How do I think we're going to look in the fall? I think we still might be wearing masks inside the building, unfortunately. Outside, I think we'll be able to be without our masks, but I don't really know the answer to that. I think we need to revisit that in the fall. Thank you guys for watching. See you back at the studio. Hi everyone, I'm Connor. And I'm Ryan. And this is Boston Sports. On Thursday, April 29th, the NFL draft kicked off with the Jacksonville Jaguars mm -hmm. selecting quarterback Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. Two quarterbacks were selected back to back after Lawrence, Zach Wilson to the New York Jets and Trey Lance to the San Francisco 49ers. In the weeks leading up to the draft, the Patriots were in serious conversation for trading up into the top 10 to get a quarterback. They didn't end up making a trade to move into the top 10. Instead, they waited to the 15th pick to select quarterback Mac Jones from Alabama. Calling before the play, and then he went and made a huge tackle. Mac Jones airing it out for Waddle, and he made Coaching 34-year-old Ryan Walters. He brings pressure on Jones. They didn't get there in time. It's a touchdown. The freshman Rake Straw is on Waddle this time. <laughs> well protected again. Jones oh Waddle gosh. gets behind the defense. I like that the Patriots didn't trade up to the top 10 because I think Mac Jones is a very smart and accurate quarterback and will fit the Patriots offense well. Patriots selected another Alabama player. Six foot five, 310 pound defensive tackle Christian Barmore. In the third and fourth rounds, they selected two players from Oklahoma defensive tackle Ronnie Perkins and running back Ramondre Stevenson. I like the players the Patriots took, and I think we'll develop them very well. On Sunday, May 9th, the Celtics played the Heat at the Garden. Unfortunately, in a high scoring loss, the Celtics fell short, losing 124 to 129. Evan Fournier was the top scorer that night with 30 points followed closely by Jason Tatum with 29 points. In our second game of the back-to-back -back against the Heat, the Celtics fell short once again. With an eight-point loss to the Heat, Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum both broke into 30-point games. Heads on to the postseason as well. So if you finish seven or eight, one win gets you in. Tatum to the bottom, rushes it home. On Wednesday, May 12th, we traveled to Cleveland, Ohio to play the Cavaliers, where we found our third loss in a row. From the Celtics, as we approach the midway point of this opening quarter, the Celtics trail 11-8. Tatum looking for the tie. We took a loss to the 13th place Cavaliers by eight points, where Jason Tatum was once again our top scorer. This past weekend, we were finally able to find a win with a 124-108 victory over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Jason Tatum was the leading scorer with 26 points, and Evan Fournier was second with 18. Just two days ago, we fell short to the surprisingly good Knicks team by just four points. Jason Tatum did not play in the game with a bothered ankle. There was no sense in risking it with the play-in tournament coming up this week. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Tasty Time. You know one thing I've really missed because of the pandemic? The movies. And you know what the best part of the movies is? The popcorn. So today we have a few different flavors of popcorn we are going to try. We have movie theater, flame and hot, and sweet and salty caramel. I have a really low tolerance for spicy food, so I'm kind of nervous for the flame and hot one. I love sweet and salty combinations, so I'm really excited for that one, the caramel one. But I don't know if it'll go well with popcorn, so we'll see how it tastes. Up first, we have movie theater. I really like that, actually. I thought it tasted a lot like movie theater popcorn. The butter flavor was there, but it wasn't too overpowering, and it was also a little bit salty, so I really liked it. I would have to agree, a, a classic buttery popcorn. It really brought me back to the movies. I would probably give this an 8 out of 10 just because it is kind of boring and original, but the flavor was spot on. 
I'm gonna go with an 8.3 out of 10. It was really good. Up next, we have White Cheddar Flamin' Hot. Um, I did not like that. I feel like it got spicier after I ate it. Like my mouth got hotter afterwards. And overall, I just didn't like the combination. Yeah, that was an awful combination. It didn't even taste good, let alone, I didn't like the spice. It was way too spicy for me. Um, my mouth is still like kind of on fire, so I really don't like it. Um, I think I would give that like a three out of 10. I would agree, a three out of 10. Our last flavor is sweet and salty caramel. I'm excited for this one. Me too. Okay, so I liked this one. It was a little bit too sweet and I didn't get a lot of the salty, so I was kind of disappointed by that. And I also think I would have liked it a lot more if my mouth wasn't still on fire. I agree with Caroline. Definitely the sweetness overpowers the saltiness. I really didn't get any saltiness at all. It was still pretty good, but I think I liked movie theater better. So I'm going to give this one a 7.6. I'm going to give this a 7.5. And the winner for today is... Movie theater popcorn! That popcorn just really brings me back to the movies. I can't wait till we get to go to the movie theaters again. That's all for today's episode of Tasty Time. Tune in next time for our last episode. Bye! Bye. saw this on show someone Lucas Lucas use the light speak to me where are you Charlie, Charlie it's, it's me, me. I'm, in I'm in the land, land down, down under, under but not, but not Australia. Australia oh god that's so spooky another dimension oh no way no way indeed Charlie how you doing old chump I was just on a walk <laughs> yeah. how things been while I've been gone Tell me all about it. I was in Cairo. And you were... I, I was walking. A on bit. a walk. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I say we leave all this behind us. We do some good old-fashioned ghost hunting, you know? For... Dummies. Dummies, yeah! For dummies, yeah! yeah. That's our brand. That is our brand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look over there. Okay. Whoa! Nothing. Look over there! No ghosts. Oh, okay. Hey, come, come with me. Let's see what we got. We got a stick. We got some leaves. We got dirt. Finally, but we got a tree. Hey, Charlie. It's all connected. I don't know how, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. We got this, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, maybe I know where some demons are. They're the friends we made along the way. It's terrible. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible. Oh, what, what is that? Look at that. What, what, what is that? Right, right there. I think I see something down there. What is it, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Is it ugly? Mm, yeah. It is? Charlie, do you think there could be some sort of like water or, or lake demon out there? No. This is hour three of looking for ghosts.
I, I we're, we're going mad. I'm, I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing everything. Leaf ghost. Stick ghost. Tree ghost. Root ghost. Charlie. Dirt ghost. Oh, ghost. Be a rock ghost. Rock ghost. Oh my god. I'm not a ghost. Don't worry. Okay. Good. Yeah. You're not a ghost either. Leaf right? ghost. Yes. I knew a demon. I knew we'd find something. I knew we'd find something. There it is. Hey, it's the uh, broadcasting department. Uh, no more ghosts means no more content, so your show is canceled, buddy.